hello friends and everyone welcome back to netcode hub channel in this video we're going to look at how we can integrate location service in our blazer hybrid application if you haven't checked the initial video which talks about how you can integrate a map in your blazer application then i highly recommend you to watch that in that we created an app in google console then we had access to our secret key that's an api key and now within that we integrated that in the js file in a index.html file and now we call that file here specifically a method specified in the function that we created that is all that we did to make sure our app or our google map uh, runs on our smartphone which is a mobile application so in this video, let's look at how we can integrate a location service in it. Now, in order to get a location service, if you decide to use the emulator, um, it's not going to work because default map location service is set to, I think, uh, California or so, and you cannot navigate in that. So when I was testing this, I needed to connect my normal Android uh, phone so I can use that to check it okay so i have my samsung a12 um, phone here and i have connected and by the help of this airdrop cast i can share my android screen to this uh, to the screen <laughs> yes so you can see from the screen and that is what we're going to work on it so currently i am deploying the app on a physical device and as for this it has all the necessary um input to make this work so in this we're going to make it work now i want to check from our this function that we created in our map.js now you see from the map.js when the page initializes we call this method that's to initialize the map and now in that the map what we want to focus here is a line four you know we are specifying our latitude and longitude um straight here this is giving us a different location but of in case we want this to have a precise or a specific location let's say where we are now as soon as i launch the map it should detect where I'm, I, I am and i'll give the location or set the location to where i am now okay so how do we do it and that is what you're going to have a look we can use js function to handle that that is to get our geolocation or we can also use the api in our mari you know mari has a geolocation api that we can use which gives access to our longitude and latitude and then we can pass these parameters in the function so we're going to modify this function a little bit by um, passing in two parameters then we're going to take these parameters and now um, replace them to where we have these uh, values here okay so let's see how we can do that so you see that here yeah, there's quite simple steps isn't it now our initialized method needs parameters before it can work all right so we're done with this and that's now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to create a service to handle our location
So you can see from here that we have an interface created and that is it which is going to get as a current location. We have a response specified in here and that means we need to create a response which takes in two um, properties latitude and longitude. Now from here, we want to create a service. We're going to implement the interface and then we have it. So we can use this API that is Google location dot get locations async. So we can use this API to get access to location. But before that, you know, we need to check if um, we have service or permission allowed before you can get location. So we check in case permission is not allowed, then you want to do this. You want to display this. And then, you know, from here, we have a desire accuracy. We want to get the best out of it. The time that you use to um, get the location here is 30 seconds. Then request full accuracy. That is when using the mobile phone, this is going to work well. In case location is not now, then that is where we want to return the longitude and latitude because these are the parameters that we need in order to um, satisfy our JavaScript function, isn't it? else we return now and that is what we're doing so we see from here we're creating a custom um exception so we can handle that maybe later on and then we, that is it so once you have this the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to register this service so let's grab it let's go to our program that's a my program and register the service So once you have this service registered, now let's go to our component and now inject it. So from in our home.razor, let's inject it here. Once you're done with the injection, we can go ahead and uh, use this. So here, in order to specify or to satisfy this function, there is a function name that we call in JavaScript as we did earlier on, and that is this one. And that it takes in two parameters, so we need to specify these parameters respectively. So we come to our component, then here the first parameter takes in what? Latitude and longitude. So let's come in and do same. Latitude first, and we're going to say that from here, we need to get a service. So in case it is, it's rendered for the first time, we want to get this service. So once you have this location, or uh, we have our service here, we can go there and I'm passing dot latitude. That is going to be the first one. This should be an await so we can have the end result. Then we're going to have the longitude over here. So we have satisfied the function, that's the JS function. And that is all that we need to do. So we can put a breakpoint and check this out. So let's run this and check it out. So on our, our app is now running on our physical device. Now let's see, as soon as it's, it's, it's ready and now it's going to render, we see we have a breakpoint hit. Now, when we step in over here, we check if it is first render and that is true. Now we're going to call this service and I'll get the location of uh, where we are now. So here, let's make sure um, it's over there. Now maybe we have an issue. So we can check from the output and now see what issue that we are getting. So I want to check here, you can see that we're having this issue. And now it is saying that one or more error occurred, right? You need to declare using the permissions. Android that permission that access cause location. So that means we sh we should add this permission. So let's go and do that. Go to solution, then in your platforms, your Android Android manifest, right click on this, go to open word, then choose XML text editor now in here we're going to add these two lines here to request permission to our location so add these two lines that is the access cost location and access find location now if i working with ios then i think we can also do same in the info p list so maybe we can go in and also open the same 
for the test editor. So in the iOS, we have the info P list open with the same test editor. And we need to also add this line so we can have access to the location. So add this, that is the key and now add this. Okay. So now that we have this, I think we are good to go. Let's run this. So now while it is opening, we make sure our breakpoint will be hit. So we go to our home.razor and I just hit. Now we have this permission added. So let's check it up. So we get this service. And now from here, if I open, you could see I have this. So allow Blazor hybrid map to access this location. Now you have a precise because we added the best. So you should click on while using the app. So let's give this access. So click on this. I'm going to do that on my phone now. So you can see it on the screen. So when using this access, I have this clicked. Now we're going to have access to this. So check it out. You can see we have a location response. So that's my latitude and that's my longitude, right? So as I have this, if I click on continue on, it's going to execute this map.js, pass on this lat and along. They're going to center that to this. So let's see um, the default map center is going to move from the initial one to my current location. Let me bring this up. Then I click on continue. Now check it out. So you can see that it has now moved from here and I'm in Accra because that's where I am now. If you know where I am, <laughs> I'm in Accra. That is Ghana. So you can see it has moved from the default location and now to Africa. That is in Accra, Ghana. All right. So that is a way to have your current location be set in the map. So it's not the map loads. It's going to get access to your current location. So in our next video, we're going to talk about how to integrate marker in it. Now that we have our location set, we want to have a pin. And even on that pin, as soon as I click on that pin, it should give me an information, the, the place that I am, the country name, the town name, the street name, and some other extra information that I want to get. We want to look at that in the next video. So if you enjoyed this, as usual, hit on the like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. If you haven't watched the first video too, then I'll put that in the description. So you can just go in there and I'll check it as well. All right. So that is it. Uh, thank you for watching. And hopefully I'm going to catch up again in the next one. Till then, take care.